So who's pairing up with uh, whom and who's going solo just may be a question of the night at tomorrow's State of the Union address. Seeing as Jeannie Most has this most unusual date night. Forget standing up and sitting down. Now it's who you're sitting with that counts. The State of the Union is not only starting to sound like a political prom, but a gay prom. I've already asked Tom Coburn. Mark Kirk and I are going to sit together. I'm bringing the popcorn. He's bringing a Coke with two straws. Republicans and Democrats are sending out joint press releases resembling engagement announcements. Senators like Democrat Chuck Grassley are tweeting their date to be. There's matchmaking live on TV. I don't have a date. Uh, Kate, I'm, I'm just available. Going to... I just asked Kate. I know. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you two sitting together. And Even those who have really gotten on each other's nerves are getting into the act. I will not yield to the gentleman, and the gentleman will observe regular order. Now we're going to observe both gentlemen sitting together. It was Republican Congressman Peter King's wife's idea. She said, why not have the two biggest loudmouths who are always fighting, have them sit with each other. I said, who are you talking about? She goes, you and Anthony Weiner. Let me hold you tight. If only for one night. The press is having a field day, nicknaming couples. There are the land of Lincoln laddies, the Southwest soulmates. Michelle Malkin's website even dressed them up for their prom photo. And the front runners for prom king and queen. Cutest couple might go to South Dakota Republican John Thune and New York Democrat Kirsten Gillibrand. At Politics Daily, they made up personal ads. Cap-and-trade Democrat seeks pro-life Republican for one-nighter. Uh, it's getting a little icky, guys. And if one date isn't enough, how about a State of the Union orgy involving, say, a softball team? Maine Democrat Shelley Pingree says she's sitting with some members of the bipartisan congressional women's softball team. Even the South Carolina Republican who once yelled, you lie. You lie. We'll be sitting between two Democratic Congresswomen, no lie. Not everyone's playing the state of the date. Take Republican Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. I'm going to sit where I usually sit. Now, if only I could get someone from Fox News to sit with me while I watch the speech. It's only for one night. But even a one-night stand beats all that standing. Just keep your hands to yourself. Genie Mo, CNN, New York.